All right, guys, what's going on? It's part two here of off-season prep. Hey, this week we're talking about long lines, okay, and how we're, uh, we set our long lines last year, how we're, we made some improvements for them for this year. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of quick, simple ways here that uh, we, we do ours. It makes life super easy when you're in them early morning boat rides after them divers. Sorry, right, guys, we're going to start here with uh, what we've improved on this year. Hey, this year we're running uh, three-foot drops. I've been running three-foot drops here because we like to run dogs through our long lines. Uh, the three-foot drop is going to help you or help your dog get through them decoys a lot easier without uh, tangling on your main line here. One end, we've got uh, a nice big clip here that clips right under our main line. A hey, main line goes right in there, clips nice and tight to it, doesn't come off, stays right where you need them. On the other end we're switching to this year. I was using trout line clips last year, and th this year we're, we're using uh, just swivels and clips like you see a lot on um, Texas rigs. And I'll link all the, the products we're using here. I'll link them all down in the description below. All right, guys, we're gonna start with some of the uh, the essentials here we're using this year and kind of what why we switch and what we're switching to. Uh, let's start with the line itself. Last year we were running uh, PVC lines and it got cold on us. Cold, we had dogs going through the decoys and they were, they were popping off the lines. They get tangled up in just a hair and they were breaking them. Okay? So this is uh, just weed eater line picked up from the hardware store um, it's 0.95 and just works well with our crimps that we have you can get it a little bit bigger a little bit smaller kind of whatever works with your crimps and we're just using you know, your standard crimps you use on all your other decoys there the other end we're switching to this year okay, is your clips here just like you do on all your Texas rigs you know pops open close it run it through your decoy close it back shut last year we run a trout line clips wor worked well Hey, but every once in a while you get one that would pop off and the, these were just easier. We had them a bunch later on, made up some uh, Texas rigs. And then on the other end here, we got this big heavy duty swivel hey, with a clip to our main line. This is nice. Hey, you push it right here. Thumb goes on the back nice and easy. Push it and hey, it clips right into the main line. You can move decoys around nice and fast. You want them farther, shallower, depends on your depth of water. Um, you want decoys a lot closer together, more, more like a raft. Hey, this makes it quick, simple, and easy to do. And these work really, really well when you've got gloves on. When it's really cold out, I can still grab a hold of this, pop my decoys back off, or put more on. Grab it, slap it on your line, and it's good to go here. All right, guys, so we'll do a little comparison here. Last year's lines versus this year's lines. Okay? Uh, same exact main line clips. Okay? Both do the exact same thing. I'm taking the, the old ones off and putting them on the new ones here. Okay, moving down, we did switch up our crimps here. Um, bought these here at a local hardware store, and we found these new ones online. They do the same thing. Okay, the old ones are actually a little bit bigger, okay, but it works. Okay, The line, we switched the line up though. Okay, you had that last year we were using this PVC line, you can stretch it, okay, but it got cold on us. When it gets cold, it gets real brittle. Okay, this year, okay, we did your line stiff, it's not going to break on you. Going down to the other end here. We went trout line clip okay, last year, okay. clip it on decoy so I can pull them on and off. Worked well, we'd have some fall off on us, so uh, we end up switching over to um, your clasp here, just like you have on Texas rig. Okay. There versus here. Okay. Did go a little bit longer with our lines this year versus last year to really keep the main line down away from our dogs. Okay. And the last reason, reason we switched here from the PVC last year to weed eater this year is this PVC gets cold, it starts stretching, and it stretches, and it snaps. Okay? And we find a lot of problems with this last year. Um, if you had a little bit of logs come through your spread, dogs, we had some of our dogs, when we were in the shallow waters, dogs were getting a little tangled up in this, and they're, they're popping them. And we'd have a duck right next to uh, decoys, they get into them, it was cold, and they would snap them. So this year, we're not gonna have a problem with with these, okay? these they're not going anywhere. So earlier in the video, guys, I told you it was a .95 line that we're using. Um, it's actually point, .095. This is just steel brand uh, weed eater line. Picked up at the local hardware store, 500 foot of it, and I think it cost us 35 bucks. It wasn't terrible, and you're gonna get punch a punch of long lights, more than you're gonna need for this. Um, that there, we got our swivels. Okay, and our clips here, okay, our crimps, found those online, and we end up getting our clasp here with our swivel on the end, 
um, off of Amazon. I'm going to link all the uh, products we used here. I'm going to put the link down in the description below so you guys can go there, um, check them out and get them. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to, to hook these up. Okay. We've already cut our roughly three foot line here. We'll slide one of these down on one end. Take our big main line clip, run it through, push it through the other end there. And I don't like a tag end sticking out here, so I keep my tag end real flush, pull it all the way down so there is no space there. As, as we crimp this down, you'll, you'll get a little more movement. Okay? The main thing is keeping no tag in there. That tag end gets caught up on a lot of stuff. Okay? Taking a pair of lineman pliers here and just crimping it down. Okay? I do three or four crimps on there, make sure it's good and tight. I'll switch, flip it over to the other side there. Clip it down, good. It's not going anywhere. One end's done. Take another crimp here, slide it on our line. Take one of our swivels with our clasp here on the end, slide it through there. I did the exact same thing. Okay, slide it through there, right up to the very tip so there's no tag in. Put my thumb on there that way, that tag in stays down there. Grab our pliers again. Squeeze it on there. I like to, to crimp hard on the side that's got the tag where the line is run through the, the almost the tag end side there. And that way it really keeps it secure. That's a, that's the part if it's gonna come through, that's the part that's gonna come through first. Boom. That simple guys. It took a minute to do while I'm explaining it to you. And no time at all to make these. Alright, moving on to our main line here. Uh, I'm gonna switch this one out this year. It's red. I don't really like it as well. I find it's a black one, but I, I picked this up at Walmart. Real cheap, real cheap, real easy. Um, needed something quick and fast, so I grabbed it there. Okay. One end, I just make a nice loop, run it through there. That way I can just take it, run it through our weight, tie a knot in it real fast. Okay, I can take it on and off, nice and simple. Okay, This is about a 100 foot line here. Um, I like to get my decoys really spread out. And uh, depending on your depth of water, you might need 20 foot. 20, 25 foot of line at the front of your uh, long line here to get you to the bottom before you ever put your first decoy on. So if I give yourself about 75 to 100 feet of line really gets you plenty of room to work there. The, the main lines we, we like to use are, are quarter inch thick. Okay? It really works well with our, our decoy clips here um, and really works well when you've got gloves on, it's cold out, your fingers don't move as well already. Okay? That little bit thicker line really helps you be able to grab it better than this uh, eighth inch thick stuff. This stuff still works, hey, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'd rather use a little bit thicker stuff. It makes your life a lot easier when it's cold than this thinner stuff that just flop, feels like spaghetti noodles. Moving on to uh, our weight here. Hey, this is just a Walmart weight. I think it ran between 10 and 15 bucks, three pound. Nice little travel anchor. That's why I got them. You can fold them up nice and easy. They store right in the 12 slot decoy bags. And it's quick, simple to deploy, pull it up, let them drop out, slide it back down. A clip and that's going to grab on the bottom Hey, there's plenty of weight there to hold your decoys hey but you also have the hooks here to grab in there okay from there you're taking your your loop that we made at the end of that line here shoving it through there okay and just tying a quick simple little knot with these okay they'll stay on there they work very 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 well hey and you have no problems with it all right next thing we got this tied on hey i like to stretch my main line out just Walk it way, way down. Okay, give yourself a lot of room. And okay, this makes putting the decoys on a lot easier. Whatever you have to get all your little knots out. You got knots in your line here. Okay, fix this and make make your life a little easier when it comes to, to running your decoys. Okay, I'm a big, big, big believer in uh, setting your decoys out here at home when it's 85 degrees out. Okay, versus go to use them and it's 20 degrees out and you're freezing, you can't feel your fingers and you're trying to clip decoys on and you're like, oh man, these are too close. Oh no, those are too far. And you're constantly adjusting. Do it here at home where you can set everything out, space it out how you like it. We like to use a 12 slot decoy bags. Just, just makes everything, uh, putting in the bag, okay, deploying it back out, super simple, super easy. Uh, this one is a hardcore bag. I've got Rogers bags. Um, the ones on the pockets on the nice are, are really nice to put your uh, weights in, what have you. But uh, whatever you have, hey, just get you a nice size 12 slot decoy bag. 
from here we're just gonna take our our decoys that we've already cleaned up okay rigged up and okay? i'm just gonna take these you can see last year where i've ran a uh, weed eater line made a clip clip through that was what we were putting the uh, uh, trout line clips on okay i'll leave those on there pop your open slide it through you guys know how that works it's quick simple painless hey okay? got my decoy attached to one end and okay? now it's time to go attach the other end to our main line now we got our decoys here rigged up hey just to show you how simple it is hey clip that put a little bit of tension right here on that hey you can pop it right on it's there it does not slide very easy and you can still get them to slide if you need to hey but but they're on there they're not going where it's clipped tight hey and if you need to take it off it's that simple it pops right off there and they're good to go hey so what i like to do here is i'll take my clip drop it on there okay set my decoy to the side there know where it's at and i'll walk it down hey four five six foot hey give myself some room here hey walk it down clip the next one on and so on Okay, it makes it super fast, super easy. So putting them away is just so simple. Okay? I'll run it down, grab my clip, everything goes right in one pocket, I shove it down, push it in there. Okay? It's there, it's secure, everything's in that same pocket. Next, okay, I've got all that in there. As Soon as I get the decoy in there with the clip, I start grabbing the next line and just shoving it in the next pocket. See, so all of it goes in there, all that extra line, everything. Shove it in there, grab my decoy. Just put right inside that same pocket. Okay, I like to cross over, boom, to the next one, and then right up from there, okay, right into the next one. Get all four of these in here, shove it down, pull on that drop, stick it down nice and in there. Okay, I move on to my last one here, shoving it all in there. It's that quick, that simple, and that painless. Okay? Doing this now really is going to pay off when you do it, when you go to deploy these okay, out in the water. Deploying them is just that simple. Uh, we've got two ways we like to deploy these. Okay? One is out of a boat if we're hunting deeper water, okay? and one guy can just do this. Okay? You go up, you throw your, your main anchor out, okay? and you start tossing decoys as you're blowing back with that current. Okay? I like my anchor up with the upwind current side. Okay? As I'm drifting back, I'm throwing decoys on one side of the boat, buddy's throwing decoys on the other side of the boat. You're running a dozen, two dozen decoys at a time. Okay? Makes it quick, simple. Once you got the whole, uh, your whole bag of decoys out, okay? your driver runs you back up, or throw your main line okay? with your anchor out again, you start unpulling these from the decoy bag. Okay? If you're hunting shallow enough water, okay? like we did a little bit last year, you just get one guy that stays up by the bag, one dude just walks out in the water with his waders, okay, take, takes your anchor side, again, go up current okay, or up wind, throw the first anchor out, okay, the other guy's back there feeding you line, okay, and you're just pulling decoys. Okay, as he's pulling them out of the bag, okay, you're just pulling it out there, letting it drift down there. Um, last year, we were fortunate enough that we didn't have to run a tail anchor. Okay, depending on your circumstances, you might have to run an anchor in the back as well to keep you down. If you don't have enough wind, not enough current, okay, you, you can you gotta run two anchors if you got plenty of current pulling you down throw your first anchor and let that back of that long line just wave back and forth like ducks swimming up the water okay the more movement the better okay so here we're just pulling them out of the bag we just toss them out of the boat let it go okay start pulling the next one out and tossing it letting it go and it's so easy it's all by you shoving it all down in one pocket there pulling it all out comes out simple toss the next one Toss your last one. So fast, so simple, so easy. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'm going to drop all the uh, links for all the products that we use here um, in the description below, along with the link for the, the TFP hat okay, and the sh shirts and all the apparel stuff you can get there. Okay, thanks again for watching, guys. Hunt hard and be safe.